Hello, what is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be Luffy Gear 5 for 24 hours in Block Fruits. And today I'm just basically going to be showing guys uh, all the moves in it and showcasing basically the transform and non transform version. So let's go into the video. But before we do that, uh, I did a don't give a last video and it, the winner has been decided. And he has also received his fruits because he did DM me on Discord and he also left his Discord in the comment section. So make sure that you guys like, subscribe, and basically do everything to win the next giveaway of Lipid for 200 subscribers. As soon as I get 200 subscribers, I'll be doing the Lipid giveaway. So this is the proof that uh, I gave him basically the dough for free and he was actually pretty happy. So now let's just get back to the part of the video where I show you the moves that I've done in this video. So basically I can just prove it to you that this this is actually K5 and that I'm not capping. So basically you need the rainbow hockey because you just gotta be the OG Luffy. And then I ate the rubber fruit obviously. I had 240 something mastery on it and I had all the moves in love to showcase it to you guys. Now the rubber also has M1s just like those which are like probably like they're they're not consistent M1s but they are M1s. But we're gonna show you guys that as well. So let's just make the game more smoother. So that's on the hockey, and let me just show you the untransformed moves. Now, as you guys can see, rubber does uh, with the untransformed the cannon does around 3,000 damage, which is pretty OP with just one move. And then the next move is 3,500 damage, which is also pretty good. And keep in mind, this is not transformed. When it's transformed, even one of the moves does like 10,000 damage. Now this kettle was a bit, you know, it was a little out of, you know, out of shape, but we're not gonna really talk about that. I'm gonna do the kettle again, and I'm gonna show you guys this is actually a pretty good fruit. Now, as you guys can see, the M1 is 2019 damage, which is pretty good because you can just go in between combos and do an M1 as well because it doesn't really have like a knockback as much. It's just a short, short knockback. So the kettle does around. 5,000 damage and uh, you can also move the person around with your gettle, which is also pretty OP So I'm just gonna type it down that it does 5,000 damage Then we've got the slingshot move uh, Which does like which also pretty good damage. Now let's just real quick transform and let me just gotta show you the damage buff with this Now this is where the gear 5 hits and it doesn't have the animation but just look at the damage buff We're doing 2330 damage from the M1 already as you guys can see which is a buff of 200 damage and then the cannon is doing a buff of 400 damage which is 3400 damage in total and then we've got the smash move which is a bit hard to use sometimes but it does around 4000 damage 3800 to be exact which is also a lot of damage then we've got the gettle move it's, it's pretty fast that's why you can't even see the, the gettle now it ended before uh, the person died so we're going we're just going to do it again uh, when it's uh, off cooldown and I don't know where I got the, <laughs> those rubber from but whatever so let me just uh, do the uh, the gettle on this person again so as you guys can see we're doing consistent a lot of damage and we did almost 10,000 damage which is insanely OP I, I did not actually leave these kinds of results from the gettle move but it's pretty good then after that we've got the slingshot which does also run to turn damage now this was basically a pretty decent fruit and i had to say that th this fruit did not disappoint me literally it did not disappoint me i'm pretty shocked that it does a lot of damage and this is you can basically use this for grinding it's pretty good so that was it for today's video make sure you like subscribe and follow thank you